Now let's take a closer look at installing a local Atom. First, let's review an install on a Windows machine. Before executing the installer, make sure that each item on the Windows install checklist is complete. This includes make certain that your system and your virtual machine meets the necessary system requirements. Synchronize system clocks using network time protocol, NTP, of all servers, VMs, and centralized storage. Ensure access to shared storage is configured if you are using it. Make sure that Java is installed prior to the installation. If not, the Atom installer prompts to download and install Java. Create an installation directory for the Atom. Create a user ID with the appropriate rights to that installation directory. And finally, download the Atom installer from the Welcome tab. It's highly recommended that the Atom service should be installed on a dedicated machine or VM. This will allow for optimum performance and limits operational issues which may arise. For a Windows installation, please view our local Atom installation activity video. This video will demonstrate an installation on a Windows machine. You will need your activity guide to follow along and the instructions will begin on page one. When the Windows install is complete, the local Atom service is configured to auto start and it will be listed in the Windows services listing. Now let's quickly go through the Linux installation as well. Before running the installer, make sure that each item is completed on the install checklist. For Linux, you'll see this, this includes some similar steps and in fact the installation itself is somewhat similar as well. So you want to check system requirements and synchronize the system clocks. Create a Java path variable because our installer does not support symlinks and will create an error during install. Ensure that Java is installed prior to installation. Update the host's files with the local host name and corresponding IP address. Create a user ID with the appropriate rights to the installation directory. Create an installation directory for the Atom. And finally, download the Atom installer from the Welcome tab. It's highly recommended that the Atom service should be installed on a dedicated machine or virtual machine, just as in Windows. So this will allow for optimum performance and will limit operational issues which might arise. We also do not recommend that you embed the Atom runtime as a child type service. With the installer downloaded, it's time to execute. From terminal, change the directory to the installation folder. In this example, the directory is called Boomi. Then use bash to execute the installer shell script. Note that you can force the installer to execute in the command line. However, for our illustration purposes, the graphical installer is used in this example. The installer executes and checks for a compatible version of Java. And as we said earlier, if Java cannot be located, then the installer prompts to install it. This slide illustrates this by asking if you want to download a JRE. If needed, the desired Java can be installed manually or automatically by the Atom installer using the wget command. The Atom installer downloads and installs a compatible version of Java directly from boomi.com. With Java installed, the Atom Setup Wizard launches. The user information must be entered for the Atom Setup. This will include the username of the AtomSphere account, the password, and the Atom name of the Atom that's being installed. Notice here that we give the Atom the name of admin underscore training underscore Linux. Then select the account that you want to associate with that Atom. Next, select the directory for the Atom installation. Check the box for Don't Create Symlinks because they are not supported by the Atom installer. A confirmation of all the installation options is displayed, so click Next to configure the installation. The installer then runs and extracts the necessary installation files. And when complete, 
click Finish to exit the installer. The local Atom is then visible in the Atom management screen in the Atomsphere platform. Notice that admin underscore training underscore Linux was the name that we entered during the installation.